This video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. Find out how to win free products as well as up to 33% off until the 26th of May later in the video. What would you do if you only had 24 hours to build a theme park in Theme Park Tycoon 2? Well, today I challenge Time and 0808 to the ultimate build battle in which we only have 24 hours to build an entire theme park. And trust me, the end results are kind of crazy. This is part two, so if you haven't already watched part one, you can watch that on Timon's channel by clicking up here or here. One of the two. But when we last left off, Timon was heading off to bed and I was getting ready for a very, very long night. Enjoy. Okay, guys, we currently have about 15 hours left, which is um kind of worrying because I've still not finished this entrance. But I think we are going to take a break from doing this entrance right here because right now we've spent way too long on it. I'm actually going to go do something else. Something equally as important, guys. Um, A, a car park. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to build a car... <laughs> I'm gonna build a car park, guys. Um, but the one good thing is, Timon has gone to sleep now, so I kind of have the uh, the old one up here. I have the one up on Timon. Anyway, yes, um, very epic. Let's get on with it here. Okay, boys, so it has been uh, a very long time. I don't know how many hours it has been, but it is now 4 a.m. for me, and I'm very, very tired. Progress has been kind of slow right here because I'm just kind of tired and sick of playing this game, really. But hey, we have around 8 hours and 42 minutes left here until the end of this build battle. Now, Timon is still asleep. At least I'm pretty sure he's still asleep. <laughs> But we do have this car park now. I've not shown this very well off right here just because I was so tired. I just wanted to get on with it. But yeah, I think the plan is right here. I'm at least going to get these rocks finished going around here maybe and just do some stuff right here. I was planning to have this be the exit right here with like a big gift shop with a very similar building to over here. But this building probably took me an hour alone. I don't have time for that. I'm just kind of at that point where I just don't want to play Theme Park Titan 2 anymore. I'm the sort of person who can only play this game for maybe four or five hours straight without getting really bored. And it's now been, um, yeah, about 14 hours. <laughs> and I'm also quite tired on top of that. And also quite hungry, which I have a solution to. I'm going to go get myself a McDonald's breakfast. I mean, it is literally going to be breakfast in about 10 minutes from now at McDonald's. And yes, let's go on a little trip to McDonald's right here. So why not? Okay, boys, I am ready. Off into the car I go. <laughs> Right, hello boys, I am in the car now. Sure, this is incredibly uh, high quality footage right now. I'm literally like just recording with one little light there so that I don't get, you know, too distracted, but also so you can see me, because if not, it just looks like this. Ooh, there's a speed bump there. Anyway, in the interest of not doxing where I live, let me go get the McDonald's. I'll see you guys in just a minute right here. Okay, hello and welcome back to Theme Park Tanking 2's greatest cinematography. I have got in the back here. Ooh, there's the McDonald's, lovely jubbly. Uh, I'll show you that when I get home, because I feel like I'm sitting in a car park eating McDonald's breakfast while like talking to myself. It's not a cool vibe. I feel like that's the vibe of a serial killer. So yeah, time to drive home, I guess, and do more. Theme Park Tycoon 2. Mm. Oh, speed bump. <gasps> Another speed bump. <gasps> Another speed bump. That was very delayed. <laughs> right, whack this back on the drive here, boys. There we go, that'll do me lovely. Okay. Now, let's get the shit. Get back up in house. Get back on bloody computer. Okay, guys, I am not going to lie. I am, um, yeah, I really don't want to build anymore in the game. But we need to at least build some rides and roller coasters, even if they're not amazing. Because otherwise, I'm going to literally just straight up fail this competition. Rather not do that. I'm not going to do a good job of it. And I'm going to half ass this right here because I'd love to go to sleep, really. And I'm so tired. I'm sick of this right here. I'm going to be building some very easy to build coasters right here. Such as, you know, the wooden coaster. This is going to be the main sort of coaster I build here. Again, mainly just because it's, it's quite easy to do. But yeah, we're just going to have like a Nice long chain lift like that, I guess. And we're just gonna do a lovely snap to grid right there. Ultra realism, guys. Now, of course, because this is an old wooden coaster, we don't want to go too steep on this drop. So I think I'm only gonna go about 60 degrees, maybe here. Just like this, because it's obviously, you know, not like a super old wooden coaster, but we still want it to be kind of old. We're just gonna go a little bit like this. Now, here, guys, here is the genius of me. Something you probably will never hear again. But literally, if I'm just building an old wooden coaster, guys, all they are is just hills. So you guys can't make your hilarious, funny jokes about her. 
ha, ha, cozy can't build a roller coaster. Ha, ha, cozy turn, cozy turn. Yeah, shut up, you old bastards. Yeah, look. Yeah, you can't say that now, can you? Huh? Anyway, here we're going to just have a little bit of a double down coming out of here. God, have I ever said that I hate building coasters? Jesus Christ. This is just a wooden coaster. Imagine how much more painful this would be if I was actually building like a proper coaster. Right, now we might just add some little airtime hills here. Well, not even really airtime hills, just some little bunny hops, actually. I'm sure this is the most efficient way to do bunny hops, right, guys? I don't even know if these are called bunny hops, but um, sure they are. Right, let's just see what sort of speed we're going here now. Wow, look at this incredible. Wow, that's just beautiful, that little turn there. Wow. Mm. Crafted with um, craftsmanship, yes. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Where's timing, man? Uh, honestly, like... Uh, hey, hey, hey. Anyway, guys, here we go. God, I cannot possibly contain my excitement. We. Wow, look at that, man. We. Okay, we do actually have a fair bit of speed there. Well, not a fair bit of speed, but we do have some speed there. So, yeah, I am going to add some brakes here. Because now, my next plan here, guys, is to actually add a second chain lift. Ooh. Now, this is going to be a big boy drop here. Look at this. Mm, that's going to be still going quite fast here, isn't it? Well, I must say, I didn't really plan for this very well, did I? Oh, well, guess we're expanding a bit further back here then. We're going to do something that uh, was thought to be not even be possible for me, guys. Hardline. By that, I mean I'm just going to literally use pivot offset. I can't be asked here. By the way, guys, if you're wondering how long we've got now, I've got about six hours and 40 minutes left. I want to die. <laughs> oh, well, let's just check this out here. Actually, make sure it, you know, makes it. I have just realized I've placed this block break right before a hill. That's totally... Oh, my God. I am an idiot. I swear to God. Why did I... <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, that just killed all the speed. Okay, we just... Are you... Oh, my God, I'm stupid. Yeah, go away. I don't know what's even out here. Maybe we just add, like, the most goofy little... Wow, that's so realistic, guys. <laughs> I hope I hope you can tell that I'm just in so much pain here, guys. I hope that it comes across on camera. Here we go. I've replaced the block break section. Hopefully, it looks less stupid now. Nope, still just looks just as stupid. Well, let's see the heart lining, guys. Oh, I mean, it wasn't terrible. Take that, I guess. <laughs> okay, I've done a bunch of building without talking here, honestly, just because I wanted to kind of get on with it. But I present to you probably the um, final rendition of this right here because I really cannot be asked to do anything better. If there's any problems, I'll fix it, such as the actual coaster not making it. That wouldn't actually surprise me to be honest. But I guess we'll see soon. Hopefully it does make it. Now though, we're just gonna sit here for like 10 minutes straight. How I think. Okay, we're finally going. Whoa, 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 Buckaroo. Okay. First, I need to tell you about the sponsor of this video. Now looking at my audience demographic, it's clear that 81% of you sit at your desk all day learning how to crank 90s on Fortnite. Which means today's sponsor, Flexispot, can help you swap out that 2022 gamers chair, cockpit, gaming chair, computer armchair, 3060 desk chair, with a brand new one rather than a random scam that I actually found on AliExpress. So, who are Flexispot? If you haven't already heard of them, they are an amazing office furniture company with such products as their E8 standing desk and BS1 chair, which they sent me to try out. Now, some of you will already know I've had this standing desk here for over seven months now, and to be completely honest with you, it is absolutely amazing. I've loved having the option to stand and do my work, especially as someone who spends so much time editing, recording, and wasting my teenage years away doing schoolwork. But this time they sent me this stunning chair right here. Yeah, this one here. Which, if you've seen my old chair, you know I really needed this. And man, I've only been using this chair for about a month and I can report it is the comfiest office chair I've ever sat in. Look, I'm not even saying that because they're sponsoring this. This thing is lovely. Now this back part is really smart because instead of having a solid back like this, it's made of this breathable elastic material that sort of bends to your body when you use it. Which just results in a far more comfortable chair than you're probably used to. Couple that with this chair's great quality of life features like these armrests being able to move right here and being able to tilt the chair back up to 135 degrees. I'm out here questioning how they're selling this for only £260. Wait, what? It's it's on sale right now. And for only £200? Flexispot, what are you doing? In all seriousness, though, if you are sat at your desk for long periods of time, I really recommend checking out Flexispot. Trust me, your back will thank you. You can check out their Flexispot E8 standing desk using the link in the description, as well as their brand day sale where you can save up to 33% on a bunch of their products, including, of course, the desk and chair I've got. Of course, a massive thanks to the amazing people at Flexispot for sending me this wonderful chair and desk and for sponsoring the video. Now, let's get back into it. Okay, we're finally going. Yay! Wee! I mean, it does feel very old. In a bad way. Wow, let's go, guys. That was so exciting. Please don't stop me here. Is it gonna make it though? That is the question. It is, yeah. Here we go, guys. Blue is part of the ride right here. <laughs> 
I hate, I hate building coasters. I hate this. I hate this video. I hate everything. Now on to the extremely exciting part. This is possibly my favorite part of the ride. The uh, quote unquote limp home mode part. It's a true epic part right here. So now that's pretty much all of that done, I guess, right here. I'm um, not a massive fan of it. I mean, it actually kind of sucks, but um, yeah, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> That's the best I can really say about it here. I'm not gonna lie. I guess let's build another roller coaster. I I wanna I don't I wanna die right now. I think we're just gonna build a small little kiddie ride in this area here. I don't know what this area is gonna be, but I'm guessing I'm gonna put a massive lake here and just go, well, there's no more room for roller coasters. Righty then. This is gonna be our kind of child's offering right here, I guess. It does sound a little dodgy, but yeah. Mm, yes, that's some lovely uh that's that's great pivot offset. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That. I'm not sure I'm actually gonna have enough room here. It's gonna be a bit of a squeeze, I'll tell you that much. All I'll do, whatever. I mean, this isn't totally terrible so far. And yep, this is my incredibly not lazy uh, thingy dingy do right here. Yeah, I think it's personally pretty incredible if you ask me, guys. I mean, I'd like you to show me a better, a better, a better kiddie coaster. I, I bet you can't. <laughs> Why is it still banged? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck is it randomly banged? Can you not like? That'd be kind of epic. What the fuck? Right, guys, let's check this out. I'm sure it'll be very smooth here. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is... Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, oh, that clearance there, that's... <laughs> I'm so done, guys. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. We... <laughs> The train doesn't even go under it. Never mind the fucking people. God damn it, man. Right, hopefully that should actually be enough clearance now. Let's uh, give it a try here, I guess. Oh, here we go, guys. Let's uh, see this right here. Oh, yeah, that's plenty now. That's plenty. Uh, anyway, yeah, that, that's my two roller coasters. I uh, hope you're happy. But I'm not. Uh, <laughs> we also need to shove in free rides right here, which is a bit of a difficult one. But I think we will have, like, a Ferris wheel here at the end where we're going to have this lake. Then I think a roto drop would be cool somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, though. I mean, we could just place it right here, I guess. Just build that nice and tall here. Oh, sure, that'll do. Finally, we need one more ride here as well as I think I'll also add, like, a train maybe going around here. Maybe we just add, like, an old carousel over here by this wooden coaster area. Like, just right there sort of thing. And then the plan for the lake is it's going to kind of go like this. There we go, guys. There is the plan for the lake, I guess, here. And then, of course, we should have buildings going, like, all the way along here sort of thing. Even though we are obviously not going to be able to finish all of this in this 24-hour challenge. But, hey, at least now we've got some sort of layout for an idea here, at least. We've got all of our rides in. None of them are actually currently, you know, doing anything. But, um, oh, well. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, I think it's time for me to take a break. I'm sure timing will be up in the next hour or two right here so you guys will see timing very very soon but with about six hours and seven minutes left right here guys i'm gonna leave you for a little bit and i don't know let's check out what time is doing i guess if he's woken up if not then let's also check out what time is doing just not now i guess <laughs> oh good morning it's now the next day and i got around five hours left to build this theme park which is not a lot so it is as i've said going to be very challenging uh, that means i do need to finish this coaster right here and i do want another one on the other side to sort of even it out and we still do need quite some lots so i guess let's get straight into this so yeah i did build the station it's nothing really special i thought going for more of like a tropical ish style so that's definitely what we're going to be doing and i also also need to make maybe some like very easy like catwalk for this i have a yeah maybe a trick for that of course the old dive coaster has automatic catwalks so what what, what if i would just do uh use this so we have catwalks is that, is that cheating i feel like that's kind of smart all right there we go <laughs> that actually yeah does kind of work as you can see that's just a little neat trick on how to just easily make a catwalk without putting, like an hour time into it so i do think that's quite nice um yeah we definitely need a hole here since now the coast is well yeah just going for the ground and yeah let's make the fence around here just a, a little high just for mainly for safety so well, yeah, as you can see not fall in the hole uh, <laughs> and i kind of want to make like some square-ish thing right here and then i just pick like the same stuff i did right here which i do think fits really nice into like the area as like a little bit in the path and instead of using like these trees maybe we can use like small palm trees in them since this is sort of like the tropical-ish area of the park of course it's nothing going to be extremely like oh i do know this is tropical it's just going to have maybe more palm trees and that kind of stuff so if we get maybe like this palm tree and just size it down i guess i can use like a combination
combination of this one and that one. So I'm just going to put a few of these in the... Yeah, and then I also get these, which are then uh, a little bit bigger. And there we go. And this, oh, this is already spicing up with a little bit more, of course, when we're going to add yeah, benches and trash cans. I do hope it's going to look even better. Right, and now we're going to connect the entrance right here and then for the same one right here. And then for, oh yeah, the queue is probably just going to be this. I know it's definitely not looking the best, but as I said, I got less than five hours left. So yeah, I, I do need to hurry up since, well, I do not have unlimited time and I do feel Josh is also building quite a lot. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I need to hurry up. It does look kind of tedious with all these fences. I do agree with that. It looks really ugly. Oh, well, we're just going to continue, are we? <laughs> we're just going to place this line on a few things around. Of course, I do need to look out for, well, yeah, the supports that are there. I don't want to make the coaster too much flying like I did right there. And then I do think actually the pirate ship sort of fits within the tropical-ish theme. So I definitely think I am going to keep that. And then, of course, I also need to sort of like make this edge look a little bit better. But while I'm doing that, of course, I do not want to build fully custom support. So I don't think it's going to look the best. But it's hopefully good enough now it's flying right there and i think if i just add probably some smoke like emitters right in here i feel like everything is going to be like hidden or at, at least i hope it will if not i might have a problem but i think that will hopefully make it do the trick how does that look um in my opinion good enough nothing extremely special but yeah i kind of it's good enough of course all right and now it is time to place tons and tons and tons of palm trees all around the area right here just to make it feel a little bit more tropic since now it's just light wood with a few rocks scattered around but um yeah i am uh, i am going to sort of try and finish this area <laughs> Okay, I think I have finished the sort of like tropical-ish, yeah, area of this park. I was thinking about changing the color, but I do actually think the red is quite a nice contrast of all the other colors and it does stand out. I just don't know if there's a different color that looks better than this. Like, I could try some orange maybe with it. Maybe that actually can work. Okay, no, yeah, I think the orange actually does look better than the red. Yeah, I am really, yeah, not extremely happy with how this turned out but yeah considering the time and what i still need left to build is i think i am yeah pretty happy with that all right let's go to the other side of the park right here since we still have quite some space here that we need to fill up with maybe roller coaster so i was thinking about what to do with this path and i have just decided to make it go straight forward just like this and it will go into a tunnel <laughs> just like that Hoppa. but it does still leave us with probably around this space and then all the way around here since of course i also feel that up here but that does give us quite a lot of space for like a the big roller coaster of this park which we are going to be building right now which i have been thinking on what to do am i going to do a multi lounge like i've done so many times or am i going to do like something way more special maybe maybe like a floorless or suspended swinging coaster or maybe even a wooden coaster so i have guys decided to go uh, with the multi lounge so let's <laughs> decide where to build it i kind of want to have the station actually like around here in the back so for now i am probably just going to place it right there and do i have any idea for the layout no no not really <laughs> not really to be honest i do have maybe one idea which i am going to try and see if that's going to work if not it's won't work if it does very epic um, that does include maybe like a little dip at the start and then just straight into a few boosters and then i think i have a fun idea okay, i hope that's enough boosters I, I do feel like it is and then we are going up quite a lot even more and now we are going down and as you can probably tell i am making a top hat uh, directly behind the ferris wheel and i hope this can look cool i'm not entirely sure of course and that does mean I now need to um, remove probably this and then sort of try to add a turn or starting a turn in here. Of course, we're going to make it go down and then we are going to add the turn since well, I cannot go any further there. But how is this top hat looking from, well, yeah, the entrance? That's my main curiosity of here. Does that look nice? That looks terrible. Okay, I need to redo that. Okay, I think I have now made the top hat a little better. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's still not perfect, but I do think it's when the coaster comes, yeah, throw it and you're like, looking at from this it is actually good enough in my opinion i don't think it will ever be able to like make that perfect with like the rounding of this i think this i actually want to see like i feel like the boosts are going to be way too 
powerful so let's like put it already on 75 all right here we go we are being boosted are we going to make it we are making it way 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 too quick now we definitely have less launch let's see how it now does are we making it that's perfect actually great and then we're going yeah in this turn a little bit for the ground for now and then we're going up into the next thing that's going to be there all right i think yeah good enough good enough of course i do have a time limit i still need to finish this whole part of the park right here and we have around four and a half hours left and um, i think we can actually do pretty good so um yeah i am going to finish this roller coaster <laughs> Right guys, hello, good morning, I am awake. I had a nice lovely little like uh, five hour or so nap right there, which I really needed because I was absolutely exhausted if I remember rightly. But now that means that I literally have only about 55 minutes left here. So uh, yeah, I'm, I, I have not much time left. <laughs> and currently we don't even have paths connecting everything up, which is a, a bit of a problem. So yeah, I think the, the plan for here is to at least just get some paths connecting things up get this lake in because we now yeah have about 55 minutes left and we're just gonna try and get as much done as physically possible here really okay i have finished the coaster layout and i actually am pretty happy with this turn out it's maybe not a long coaster layout but i do think it does pack a punch of course we have two inversions this one is actually pretty smooth that actually surprised me first of all i've just noticed that this rocking ship is just the wrong way around here completely let me just spin this around and then we're just gonna have an entrance here and exit there okay. Over here, we're going to have the exit right here. And we're going to have the entrance back. Uh, back here, sure. And I am, of course, now going to theme it. And we now have some sort of like the normal theme, the mountain. We have tropical. And I do feel we miss one sort of standard nature theme. And that is alpine. So there is going to be like more alpine trees on this section. And I do think that's going to look pretty cool. Of course, I still have some space right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing or adding here. Maybe like a right again here. There's probably not going to be another coaster. I do have three coasters and I think that's pretty nice. Our Ferris wheel over here is going to be very similar to the rocking ship. I'm going to keep this nice and simple because otherwise I just won't be able to finish this in time. That's going to have a entrance there and an exit right there. Okay. And now for our roller coasters, we're going to have an entrance right like there, sure. And then an exit right there. Actually, it would make more sense if I had the entrance there and then offload it on there. Okay. Yeah. And then finally, we've got this over here, which we're going to place an entrance right about here and then exit right about out there i think so we can actually wrap that around sort of thing but for the rest uh yeah let's just start yeah building the alpine area right okay anyway now let's get some paths in first of all because right now nothing is actually connected up and even though i'm not really going to decorate everything very well because i don't have the time to i only only have about 40 sorry 50 minutes left i'm at least going to get some paths in here you know <laughs> that'd be good so my plan to do some paths is we're going to have a nice big plaza coming out here coming along the side of this river here and then we're going to have that continue down here with this path just hugging the not the river sorry the lake <laughs> and then the same thing around here too except from it's then gonna go up like here a little bit more you have a nice queue going around here and then some stuff with this station right here probably won't have the time to build the station but you know hey ho <laughs> and then down here we're probably just gonna have this continue around here and then maybe end up here in like a bit of a plaza as well but yeah that's pretty much the plan right here guys i'm just gonna kind of get on with it right here because i don't really have the time to sit here talking <laughs> so yes i'm gonna get on with this right here and hopefully Hopefully, I'll be at least able to finish these paths in time. Fingers crossed. So, I am riding... <laughs> I am adding here... As you can see, quite a big mountain behind the Ferris wheel, as you can see. It's mainly just so the supports are a bit more up. And I'm probably going to make this quite a hilly terrain, just to, like, break it up from all the flatness that we have right here and the rest of the park. So, yeah, we're just going to add, like, some cool stuff all around here. And it's definitely going to have, of course, some alpine trees and a lot more grasses. It's mainly just, like, the sculpture of the mountain. And it does look a lot of grey, which we are, of course, going to make look better. So, guys, just wait. I, I, I hope it is, and I think it is going to look very nice okay so a little time jump as you can see i have actually placed a lot of terrain and a lot of trees and nature all around here i know it's definitely not the most insane thing or like the most detailed but i do think it kind of fits sort of like the ish alpine it's not really intense alpine but of course we do have the trees and everything around here um so i think i have just enough to maybe finish this like corner here and also the station needs to be done so yeah i am actually getting quite short on time which i was not expecting this just took actually longer than expected mainly just because i first built 
like everything but the block terrain and then I didn't have any support so I had to remove everything and rebuild it but it does look pretty cool right now so yeah I'm just going to probably copy this station over here with like or just I'm probably just going to use sort of a standard station just as we've done the whole time uh, I kind of like just the vibe of it and then I'm going to of course finish the wall right here and maybe I'm going to place one more right here I'm not really sure which one maybe like a flying carpet but no that feels weird maybe a first piece that could definitely fit I do want another long right here um so yeah what that one is going to be I don't really know yet we, I will I will see um but yeah let me make the station and yeah try and finish the rest of this part okay boys it has been about uh, five, 40 minutes or so i literally only have about seven minutes left here so not very long and i'm gonna use this time right here to just basically add a bunch of trees in right here around the area and just kind of make it look a little bit nicer because right now you know it's looking a bit bare it is looking a bit six flagsy right now with the massive swathes of concrete but i mean i can't really do much about that i don't have the time to add like planters and stuff but i do have the time at least to just add some trees in right here and just at least make this look a little bit better here i am very interested to see what Timon's build looks like though and we'll be doing that in a video that's coming out tomorrow by the way so if you want to see both of our builds finish and actually all the POVs and that sort of stuff guys make sure to subscribe to mine and Timon's channel his link will obviously be down below you know obviously you need to kind of watch his video you know part one as well but yeah make sure to subscribe to both of our channels because there will be full POVs of all these rides right here and actual you know proper stuff here very very soon anyway regardless we've only got about five minutes left here this is incredibly stressful I never want to do a video like this again. Right, let's just paint some of these trees a little bit differently here. Really, I need to add like loads of bushes and rocks in as well here, but like, I don't know if I have the time, honestly. Okay, look, that just automatically looks just a little bit nicer there, you know? We do have some time to just add some bushes in here, guys, because we've still got another four minutes left. And I'm gonna make the most of those four minutes, of course, right here. I wish I also had some time to add some like bushes and trees back here, which we will in a second if we have the time, but I don't think we will. And it's not really my priority, of course. Okay, the park is now actually done. I have opened it for the public, as you can see. People are starting to walk around and the whole place just already starts to yeah feel way more alive so yeah i have yeah finished this little part here i've added all the nature and all the stuff and yeah i think it turned out pretty all right it's definitely not the best theme park but within 24 hours and sleeping and streaming and all the other stuff i think it turned out pretty great okay that's a bunch of bushes placed in now let's put some rocks only three minutes left here guys oh my god that is far too many rocks what am i doing <laughs> okay that's some rocks over there let's run over here quickly okay there's some rocks over there we've still got another two minutes here now let's take this time here to just add some more trees into like these sort of areas here okay and finally here guys we've only about a minute and a half left let's just add some trees over here oh my god this is stressful right quickly let's paint some of these trees here chuck some bushes around here okay and i think we are pretty much finished here but guys we have five four three two one okay stop and the time is up Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Me and Timon had a lot of fun collabing in these videos, so I hope you enjoyed watching them just as much as we did making them. Of course, a massive thank you to my channel members. This sort of video would not be possible without members, so thank you so much for your guys' support. I really appreciate it. And of course, also a massive thank you to Flexspot for sponsoring this video and sending me this lovely E8 standing desk and chair. If you follow the link in the description, you have a chance to win free products, as well as getting a ton of money off a bunch of their best products. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Goodbye!